okay. <laughs> um, always a little awkward to begin these things. Um, well, I wanted to start by introducing, I'm, I'm doing a song by The Offspring, um, which is not something that you probably would have expected to hear me say, but one of the things, when I first started playing ukulele, I thought it was really fun. Let's, um, Let's see. Let's see how far we can stretch this. Let's do. Uh, let's learn Ozzy Osbourne "Crazy Train." Yes, let's do that. That kind of thing. Let's let's push the limits. And um, in it, I found this song that I had never heard of by The Offspring called "Christy, Are You Doing Okay?" And I learned it because it's really interesting, and I did some research on it at the time. And I think right now. Um, it's really, really pertinent. It's, it's important to the time that we are in right now with COVID. If you have a kid right now who is school age, you, you gotta, you gotta concern. Um, nobody is doing okay who has a kid who is school age right now. Um, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with your kid. I'm saying there's something wrong with the situation that they're in. Um, our kids, I, I have a senior in high, in high school. He is supposed to be going to his senior ball. He is supposed to be looking at colleges. He's supposed to be applying to colleges that he's going on campus to visit. Um, you know, he just, took his, he just took his SATs that had to be put off five times. Five, five times. Um, all of his classes he's going to school one one day a week and and that gets taken away every now and again because somebody has covid um it's really scary our kids are supposed to be socializing they're supposed to be finding out who they are they're supposed to be dating they're supposed to be you know having making the really important friendships that they still keep to this day you know i mean and as parents, we're terrified because we're looking at their grades. And I mean, I don't think I know anybody who is having no problem with their kid keeping up with schoolwork. I really, I really don't think I know anyone. Um, the, the other problem is that this leads to kids hanging out outside of school when they're not supposed to in ways that they're not supposed to because we know that we're not we're, we're supposed to be socially distant we're supposed to not be within six feet of each other without a mask on this is happening they're teenagers they're supposed to be taking risks this is what teenagers do but the thing is is that right now it's a matter of life and death um or it can be a matter of life and death it's not just a matter of um oh, so-and-so snuck out to the mall and, you know, they're not supposed to be there. The other thing is, is that, you know, I, I remember sometime in the first two weeks back in March, you know, we, we, my husband and my son and I got into it, into an argument and we got kind of snappy and rude with each other, which, you know, it happens in families. You're not going to get along all the time. Um, I, I think it's normal to bicker. But, you know, we had, we had a good little bickering session going on in it. You know, I said, whoa, hold up. If this is the way that we're gonna be, this is gonna be one long quarantine. It, little, <laughs> little did I know, you know, seven, eight months later now. Um, what this also means, I mean, my husband and my son and I, I think that we're doing pretty freaking good <laughs> considering the situation but what this does mean domestic violence is up very much up um, alcoholism suicide um, child abuse these are all huge they're increasing right now there's increased child abuse right now um, we spousal abuse you know obviously we we need to be so careful right now to watch for those red flags um and help
people who need it. We need, you know, and I think back to my own time in school when I was dealing with depression, which I've had pretty much as far back as I can remember, probably since I was maybe 10 or so. And I would express it to my friends. I remember passing them notes and I remember what was in those notes. And I would say over the past maybe five years or so, I, I thought to myself, my God, Lisa, you pass those notes to these kids. We had no resources back then. They didn't know what to do with that. Like they didn't know what to do with what you were saying. They didn't know how serious or not serious it was or, you know, how concerned to be or not concerned to be. Well, you know, th there was no help there. There was no resource. Now, today, we have resources. You can get on a computer and you can find local resources. You can find the suicide prevention, the National Suicide Hotline, um, Suicide Prevention Hotline, which I will provide for you in the links. Um, I'm also going to provide a few resources, um, red flags to look out for, for abuse, um, where to get help if so you suspect that somebody is being abused or needs help, um, or if you need help, if you need help. With that said, Christy, are you doing okay? Um, Dexter Holland from The Offspring. If you've never heard this song and you're familiar with The Offspring, you're gonna be like, they wrote this song? Yes, they wrote this song. And, you know, I was doing my research on the song. The lead singer, when, when he wrote it, he wrote it about a girl that he went to school with that everybody knew that something wasn't right Nobody at the time could put their finger on what was right, maybe, but nobody did anything about it. And now they all know what, what happened. And so he, this is what he wrote the song about. Um, and as I was doing my research, you know what I say, every song is a love song. And I guess what I want to say too is when I was in high school as well, there, there were a few people that I was not friends with, you know, I would not consider them part of my social circle or somebody who, you know, I was great friends with. Um, but <laughs> I was worried about you. I just want you to know I was worried about you. And um, I didn't know how to say it then. I don't know how to say it now. I'm just gonna take a little sip of water here. So, that's why I'm doing the song. Um, I think it's really important that we keep a good eye on our kids, that our kids keep a good eye on their friends, um, and, you know, I want to provide some resources so that we can think about it and keep that first and foremost and try and be empathetic, give our kids a little bit of a break because they deserve it, they need it, and you know, um, if you're worried about college, because um, I'm worried about college. I'm really worried about how this is going to affect my son's future, but I just keep reminding myself that if he gets through this, when he gets through this, um, Daniel is going to be really resilient and strong, and it's going to look really, really good on him that he was resilient enough to get through it. But as I was researching the song, you know, I... I went song meanings. What does the song mean? Of course we know what it means because he actually did an interview and explained what it means. But I came across a fan who wrote a quote and said, at first it sounded like a love song. 
until the line, I know I should have spoke out. And that's when I knew that, yeah, I really do, did have to cover this. And it is actually a song too that I, I really love when I find a song that when I first started to try and play it, it was really hard and it got easier. And actually when I looked to go, to go and find it um, in my little resource again, they had updated it and they had made the chords even clearer than they were before and everything. So I was really excited that this is, this is a good song to do. So, um, very much every song is a love song and this is Christy are you doing okay and I'm sorry this is long but it's so, so important got interrupted there by my Cardinals and I actually did catch one on video earlier when I was practicing so that to me um, it's it's always just reassurance that I'm doing the right thing um, what I didn't add earlier was that last year we had a sophomore in our high school at, that went to our high school and is senior who went to our high school who actually did commit suicide we did have a lot of tra like training um awareness 
that was offered to members of the school district. Um, and we all want to avoid that. We all want to avoid that. Um, these are kids with our whole lives ahead of each other. Um, and even though, even though I don't know them, even though my son didn't know them, they still changed in the same gym locker room, ate in the same cafeteria, had some of the same teachers, I'm sure, you know, um, and they're part of our community. And we, we don't want this happening. We don't want this happening. They're too young. They have so much promise, so much promise. Um, so, is this a love song? Yeah. Yeah, you're putting love out into the universe. It's a love song. So, um, we'll see what comes out of the Grove next. And thanks for listening. I know this is really long, but it's so important. And um, when I do release this, I will release it with links to as many resources as I can find for mental health and red flags for abuse. And um, thank you.